So right off the bat, very impressed with the acceleration of this 2.5 liter. Although it's not turbocharged, it does have a great acceleration feel. As I put my foot down, get higher in the RPM range, I really start to feel this car pull. So quite impressed so far. Now I'm gonna put in the sport mode, I'm just curious. So revs get hotter, of course. And the vehicle actually becomes more responsive to throttle output. But we do have the speed limit reader there, like having that and where there's a red line to show you if you're going over the speed limit or not. But we're gonna put our foot down. I'm gonna see how this thing really does. Now that's impressive. That is very impressive. And this takes bumps very nicely as well. I'm pretty surprised. Not saying I should be, but it's just, it's impressive. And then the lane departure system is also fantastic. So it starts to go back in the lines. It'll, well, yeah, it'll ping me back. It did a little better earlier. But again with, I shouldn't say again, but I always say in my car reviews with lane departure systems that have like a lane keep assist, not a lane centering, they're really not meant to rely on. They're just there for when you need them for whatever reason. But again, ride quality is superb for this kind of car. And pretty good sound acoustics in here. I'm just hearing a little bit of feedback from the wind noise, but nothing at all crazy. I actually wouldn't mind taking a vehicle like this out for longer road trips. And usually I'm not one of those people to say that about small cars, but having the power eight way seat, lumbar support, the, the radar cruise control, the lane keep assist system, the navigation, just everything in here is pretty top notch. Now what I love about Mazdas, and honestly, I feel like they've been like that for a long time they drive, they just seem more agile than your typical competitor. So when I think about the Corolla or the Civic, I feel like this Mazda 3 handles and feels sportier than the competition. And even compared to the Nissan Sentra, they just, the Skyactiv G engine is pretty nice. Then you go to the two liter turbo and then that thing is so quick. But just impressed by this naturally aspirated four cylinder, just how it delivers power to the car. With 186 horsepower, this thing is pretty darn quick. And then you can expect to get 30 miles per gallon plus in terms of fuel economy on the highway. But all in all, for the money, I think you can't beat it. I think this one might be around, I think it's 25 grand used. And again, you have heated seats, LED headlamps, radar cruise control, which is a big plus in my opinion, navigation. You just can't beat what you get for the money with this Mazda 3 hatchback. especially in today's car market. But I also just feel like with this powertrain setup that this will last a long time and it won't be difficult to maintain like other competitors may be. When you have the turbo engines, the CVTs. So again, they just did a fantastic job with this car. And I also like how the digital gauge cluster is in the middle and then the speedometer is digital, but the other analog gauge clusters on either side still look modern. 
without feeling like you need to have the whole gauge cluster digital. But I'm gonna test out the manual shift mode. So again, pretty quick, just like an automatic shifting. So that was actually pretty fun to use that bad boy. But fantastic option if you're in the market for a car like this. Great power for the segment. Great technology for the segment. And just a pretty good car. But with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2021 Mazda 3 hatchback preferred.